Tiani, how are you today? Fantastic. Happy to be here. I bet you are. So talk about this year because forget the roller coaster for a second, but find me some positive things, something that's happened cool to you this year. Um, got a lot of gardening done. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was probably one of the, ha uh, the people that was happy to be home. Um, I've never got to spend the summer at home. I've never cut my grass in the summer. Um, yeah, the place looks really good. But when we did leave, we we hit a streak that we haven't seen in several years. And Showman set three arena records this year. And we we as a whole, like, we all thought he was kind of just done. He had colic surgery three years ago. And he made a turnaround. And I don't know if it was the break, the timing, whatever it was. But he's back, and I'm hoping to have a good week here. You did this before uh, in Vegas. Total different arena, total different setup. Um, show Mance again, but how do you how do you approach this um, mentally? Prepare and what do you do on the first go around? Ooh, for the first go around here, I mean it's a standard pattern this year. Um, 2017, it, it didn't go so well for us. So this, I mean, gosh, I hope I don't fall off because I think that would be the only thing that would be worse. So I'm I'm hoping to you know knock on wood and prevent that from happening. Uh, so it, it just has to be better. Uh, I think all the pressure is a little off because, you know, we had so much money won and there was such high hopes and, and being a rookie that year, it, there was just, you know, we all saw stars, but sometimes, you know, those stars, they're just out of reach. And, and this year, you know, I'm not looking in the stars. I'm looking at a field of dreams. I like that. Well said. So does that, does that change the way you approach things? Of course, you're you're kind of captive anyway because people aren't just out doing autographs all the time and different things. But does it change your approach um, from how you spend time with horses versus then and what you do differently? Um, are you more reserved in in your process? Is there anything different from that standpoint? No, I still sleep till noon, <laughs> and I'll probably st yeah I'll be in bed. I'm driving back and forth to the house. Uh, so uh, yeah, don't don't call me early in the morning. I I'm not embarrassed to say say it i like to ride late at night um and with that i the phone stops ringing um i can get a lot done people go to sleep it's nothing to see my lights on in my indoor arena i'll be riding till two three in the morning so even if i have you know a not perfect round a bad round or even a good round i might go home ride some colts ride some other horses sharpen myself up so i'll be ready for the next day but i will be well rested you bet you can believe that um Gratefulness. Other than gardening, the fact that they're having this finals at all and that you're here in Texas, your home state, um, talk about um, how grateful you are that this is happening. I love this arena. I love it. I'm sure there will be someone to complain about something. Um, the nice indoor warm up pen that we have, the facility, uh, the closeness from the parking to the arena, like, I'm yet to find something to complain about. Uh, I can't, and I love to complain. So this place is a really nice place, and I know that we we will be going back to Vegas. It's going to be hard to top this going back there, and, you know, I'd be a huge advocate of moving it to that, that uh, NFL stadium. I haven't been to the one in Vegas, but maybe this will be a lead to something bigger and greater for the future. Well, we... Uh wish you the best and, and showman's what a, what a great opportunity for both of you to just shine this week and we hope that all works out great for you and congratulations for being Thanks. here this year awesome